Got a good circle of friends. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. What? It seems quite ordinary to me. Yeah. For real? Yeah, I did some sprucing up. Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Yay. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! <laughs> Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. I mean, that's what happened with Yusuke. You guys don't know anyone, do you? Mm, other than the guy who gave me the criminal record, no. I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Uh, let's sleep on it. I knew you were gonna say that. Seriously, it's so like you. <laughs> but what else can we do? Damn it! Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. Hey, we got time. What? What the? Yusuke? Sorry, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. How about that welcome party? This is some new music. Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Wait, what? In the, uh, in the attic? Can't we make hot pot on it? Here? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. It actually does. You guys should try it out if you've never had hot pot with your friends. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. I'm in. So, what do you say? I'm in. Fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Is he gonna be okay with a portable stove in the attic and everything, you know, fire hazard? You know what? Screw it. He seems to like on. Let's just ask politely. I heard you're all having pop pop for dinner. Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name is On, right? She's a nice girl. She is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Ask if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I have a big pot here somewhere. Cabinet. There's a suitable pot here somewhere. Found an old earthenware vessel. Should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? It was surprisingly lenient about the whole idea. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. 
This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Wow, that's like the dreams of all adults with kids. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman, yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. Wow. That's a smart lady. Sadly, it's true. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Pee pee pee. Yes. Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. God damn it. What do I want to do? Is she gonna be the snitch? Oh, I can't eat another bite. <laughs> that was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. <laughs> What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Holy shit, you can still eat? Just leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? Wait, she is? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know An? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady An like back then? Not so different from now. Oh. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's our looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. Hmm. So, what about you two? I'm a loner, I guess. Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Ooh, yeah! You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. Sure. So you got nothing to lose, huh? Alright, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me for being a single mom and all. Wow. So that's what happened. 
They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. <laughs> is this about his past? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think about it, we never have heard the details. Oh, God. You guys don't want to know this. Are we going to flashback? I don't want to go through this again. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Wow. So that's what happened. You fell on your own. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Of course she doesn't. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I feel bad for my character. That young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man... got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cuff him. Understood. Oh, was there no, no CCTV? Oh, boo. Just listening to it pisses me off. <laughs> Thanks, man. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. I mean, yeah. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? No idea, and no idea. I don't remember. I don't know. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. Eh. Yeah. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! Amen to that. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. Wait, is he the next target? You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Not really. I've been up for a while now. God damn it. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Yeah. Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hm. 
We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> if you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again! Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. Ugh. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer! <laughs> what kind of nickname is that? Mm, I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. I need to turn back into a human soon. What? Why? I can't let her get taken by someone else. Oh. It's probably the biggest mystery. Uh, what is Morgana? really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot though. Ah, it's good. It's called the bathhouse for a reason. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. What? We're having this talk? Uh, she's a great teammate. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like <laughs> our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? Uh, I mean... I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Hmm. Still. Ah, it's freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? <laughs> Come on, I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. <laughs> Grandpa's too old to give a fuck. So we got two people in here. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I'll sleep in my studio on occasion. So this is is luxurious in comparison. Go <sighs> protect my sleeping beauty no matter what it takes. Good luck. What? Don't eavesdrop on me. And aren't you supposed to be asleep? I am. All right, guys. Have a good night and. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!